A historic geomagnetic storm is set to impact Earth as early as tonight. So what causes it and what impacts could we experience? Meteorologist Rachel Dunsing breaks it down. For the first time since 2005, the Space Weather Prediction Center has issued a geomagnetic storm watch for a G4 storm, which is considered a severe storm. So how did this happen? We've had at least five coronal mass ejections burst from the sun toward the Earth. So a coronal mass ejection, or a CME, is an explosion of plasma and magnetic fields from the sun. And as they move toward Earth, it can interact with our magnetic field and cause a number of issues, mainly for the sunlit side of the Earth. So with this particular G4, high frequency radio blackouts are possible for up to a few hours. GPS and other satellite navigation may not work as well. And there are even some power grids, mainly in the northern latitudes, that could have issues with voltage control and the protective systems may even trip out at times. A G4 can also cause the aurora to be seen a little farther south possibly as far south as Alabama. But as we take a look at the Aurora forecast, the best chance to actually see it with your naked eye is still pretty far from us in North Carolina. However, with long exposure photography, it is technically possible to see the Aurora here in North Carolina, but most likely the western part of the state late Friday night and early Saturday morning. I have an in-depth article explaining more on this historic geomagnetic storm. Just find it on CBS17.com. I'm meteorologist Rachel Dunzing.